everyone. My name is Miss Abby and I'm the Children's Services Manager at the Main Library. Welcome to our latest installment of our Fairy Tale Food Series. So today we are making a Goldilocks smoothie. In this book, Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs by Mo Willems, one of my favorite versions of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, um, Goldilocks goes to the house of three dinosaurs and instead of porridge, she finds chocolate pudding. And you know what happens? She eats too much chocolate pudding and she doesn't feel very good. We never really feel very good when we've eaten way too much chocolate pudding. So instead of chocolate pudding, we are going to make a tasty Goldilocks smoothie. So you can assemble your ingredients. We have some plain Greek yogurt, some milk, and if you like, you can either substitute almond milk or soy milk or juice. You can substitute orange juice for this as well. We've got some frozen mango, a banana, and some honey for a little bit of sweetness. Now, before you get started with any sort of, sort of cooking adventure in your kitchen, the most important thing to do after you assemble your ingredients is to wash your hands. Hand hygiene is really important. So we wash our hands, fronts and backs for 20 seconds and make sure everything is nice and clean and we don't have any germs. And then when we're done washing our hands, it's really important not to touch anything when we get back to our workspace. So that means we're not gonna touch our face or our hair or our shoes or anything like that. So are you ready to get started with our delicious smoothie? So our first ingredient is going to be our milk. So we're gonna take a half cup of milk. We're gonna measure it out here and we're gonna put it in our blender. And then we're gonna take a half cup of our yogurt and this serves one person. So if you would like to serve more than one person, this is a great opportunity to do a little bit of math and you can double the ingredients and make two servings. So that would be one cup of milk and one cup of yogurt and then you can also do um, one whole banana and a cup of mango so we're going to do a half cup of each and i have actually frozen my banana because that makes your smoothie a lot more thick and delicious so we're going to about a half cup of mango chunks. If you've got a little bit more, that's just fine. And then I don't usually measure my honey. You can just give it a good squeeze, but if you are measuring, it's about a tablespoon per smoothie serving. So you're gonna get everything in your blender and we're gonna put the top on and we're gonna blend it up. And 
This is a tiny glass. This is a little sample size. But it gives you it. It'll give me just a taste. And here is our Goldilocks smoothie. So this is perfect for breakfast. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's just right, just like Goldilocks. Bye.